G'day guys, my name's Dave and welcome to another Guitars Ready Hero song tutorial. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play Astronomy by Conan Gray, which is a really nice and simple song. For the basics, you'll just need your guitar and standard tuning and you won't need a capo. Now, if you want to master your chords back to front, then be sure to head over to guitarszerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you want to improve in guitar in general, then sign up to Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step-by-step -step guitar course. Let's jump into the lesson. Okay, so first off, I'm going to show you the strumming pattern that's going to be used basically throughout this whole song, and it's really nice and easy. It just goes like this. Down, up, down, up. And in succession, down, up, 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 down, up. So the song is in 6-8 timing, so it's got that kind of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 vibe to it. Now you can use a pick to strum that strumming pattern, or you can just use the side of your thumb. And using the thumb, you'll get a much more subdued and mellow sort of sound. Like that. So let's get stuck into the main chord progression, and this is used throughout the verses and the choruses. Now we start with the G6, so it's a ring finger on the third fret of the sixth string, middle finger on the second fret of the fifth string. And the rest of the strings can be open. Then we have an F sharp minor 11 flat 13. I'm just gonna call this an F sharp minor 11 for the rest of this lesson. It's index and middle finger on the second frets of the sixth and third strings. And again, everything else can be open. Then we have an E minor. And then we have a D. And then finally we have a C slash G. So it's the same as a C, except we're gonna move our ring finger up one fret and our pinky finger will come down onto the third fret of the fifth string. You can strum all the strings on that C slash G. So each chord that you see down below will be played for one strumming pattern. So that C slash G is effectively played for four strumming patterns. And altogether, the main chord progression sounds like this. So next we get to the pre-chorus, and this is only played once in the whole song. And it's really nice and simple. We just have an E minor for four strumming patterns, and then our C slash G for four strumming patterns. So it will sound like this. final chord progression we need to learn is just the bridge and it's really simple we're going to start with an A minor chord and that's going to be played for four strumming patterns then we go to an E minor for two strumming patterns and a D for two strumming patterns now the second time around that we play that the D is just held out for a count of six instead of being played for two strumming patterns but for the first time around this is what the bridge chord progression will sound like And those are all the parts of the song, so it's really nice and easy. So now I'll be doing a full playthrough of the song and I'll have my good friend Eric lending his awesome vocals to this playthrough. So feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to to practice, play along to, and see how you go. Oh, 
seems like you own my heart It's that strong to me We're two worlds apart Thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this lesson, then I know you'll absolutely love these other lessons too. So hit the link here, or if you want to grab a copy of my free guitar ebook, then head over to guitarzerodihero.com or click the link here. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.